a diaper. Make sure you have the correct size diaper. Diapers come in many different sizes and they are based on the weight of the baby. You'll need wipes. You'll need diaper cream or powder. If that's something you choose to use, you do not always have to use this. You will need something to change the baby on. I have a towel right here, but you can also have a changing pad or a blanket. You can lie the, lay the baby down on a bed, just something soft. You'll also need to have a cover cloth if you are changing a little boy. Sometimes when the cool air hits a little boy's penis, it actually makes him pee a little bit more. This will protect you if he should decide to urinate again. And finally, you will need a diaper pail or just a plastic bag so that you can dispose of the dirty diaper. So we are ready now to begin the process of changing a baby's diaper. So you can see baby is lying here and I have removed um, the clothing that would interfere with the diaper change. And what we're going to start with is we are going to leave the dirty diaper on right now. We're going to get our clean diaper open the front half, have it open towards you. You want to grab baby's legs, actually you're going to grab the ankles and gently lift up, lift up baby's bottom. Slide that clean diaper right underneath, line the diaper up with the back of the dirty diaper. Okay, And of course we will use that later. Baby's legs have come back down into a comfortable position. So now we are going to focus on the dirty diaper. You want to take the Velcro tabs, there's one on either side, open them up. I recommend you then fold the tabs down so that they do not stick onto your changing um, pad or the diaper or anywhere else. You want to fold that dirty diaper now down towards you. And this is the time where if you were changing a little boy, you would take your cover cloth and cover up his penis because sometimes when that cool air hits a baby boy down there, um, it will start to pee again. But our baby is a girl, so we don't need to worry about that. What you want to do now is again, you're going to take baby's ankles, gently lift up baby's legs and bottom, and let's imagine there was some poop in this diaper. You can take this front part that's clean, or it might have urine in it, but it's not covered with poop. And you can actually use that as a wipe and to gather some of the fecal material and take then your diaper, slide it out. It's nice and folded. Move the dirty diaper to the side. Make sure it's out of the reach of baby so that baby can't play with it. With baby's bottom still up, this is the time you can start wiping. So we're going to take our wipe. We're going to wipe from front to back. That is the best way to keep bacteria from going into the genital area. If you wipe from back to front, you might move some of that fecal matter up towards um, the little girl's vagina or the boy's penis, and you don't want to do that. So start from front to back, wipe, get all the poop off. Once the baby's bottom is clean, you can lower the legs again. Take another wipe. Just do another wipe around. Just make sure you get in all the creases and folds. Babies have a lot of, you know, leg fat. You just want to make sure you get everything clean. Now you want to let baby air dry for a little bit. If this is the time that if you were going to do powder or cream, this is when you would do it. But it's actually not recommended to use anything if you don't need to. If the baby has a rash, of course you can. But otherwise, just wiping the baby, letting baby air dry. That's it. That's the best for healthy skin. So just keep that in mind. Now we're ready to um, put the diaper back on. Our diaper's already here. Remember, we put that diaper down underneath our dirty diaper. So here's our clean one. And we're just going to lift up the front. You're going to go to the sides. The, the tabs are back here. Pull one tab over. Here's the other tab. You might have to readjust. Just make sure that diaper is centered. You want to make sure the diaper fits snugly on the baby, but not tightly on the baby. So snug fit, not tight. Check the legs too. Make sure you pull out the material so that you get a nice, nice coverage on the legs. You don't want urine leaking out or any poop leaking out. And pretty much that's it. 
baby's been changed, baby is happy, comfortable. So now you can dress baby. Of course, you need to wash your hands, but make sure then too that you move baby to a safe place in the playpen or the crib or um, you know another adult. You just don't want to leave baby unattended, of course. So that's it. I think baby has something that she wants to say. Thank you very much. I feel Thanks better. for watching. Please subscribe and don't miss my next video.